My thirty-three female husband, forty-one male, probably cheated on me. I see him leaving, and he threatens me. How serious is this? I won't get into all the backstory because it's long. The condensed version has been caught texting other women several times throughout our relationship. This past time, I found him speaking to escorts and making dates. He claims he never met up with any of them, and that may or not be true. But it's the last straw, and I no longer trust him. There was also something weird about his relationship with a female coworker last year, and my gut tells me something was up with that. They fought like lovers, texted in strange times, and she suddenly blocked him on Facebook and moved away. Even without the cheating, he's volatile. After we married two years ago, he began being physical at times with me, pulling my hair. Pushing me, throwing things at me. He's verbally abusive when he's angry, and even when he's not angry, he proves he has no respect for me. Constantly questioning my intelligence over the most minor things. We don't have children together, but we each have a son from our previous marriages. I still love him, and I'm so sad to realize that I cannot trust this person. But for my sanity, I know I need to leave him. I'll always be wondering what he's doing behind my back, and I don't want to leave that way. I'm struggling to find a job and find an apartment for my son and I, and to date, I'm not even successful. My husband knows I am doing this, and he insists that I am not leaving. He says in no uncertain terms that he will kill me if I leave. He has told me this at least a dozen times. I'm wondering how to go about leaving. I don't know that he's serious. He's a big stalker, and he might just be trying to frighten me. He doesn't exhibit any other controlling behavior. For example, he doesn't check up on me. Doesn't invade my privacy. Let's me sleep in a spare room. He still goes out drinking a lot, and I would think if he really was worried, I might leave. He'd try to be here as much as possible, or if he really wanted to fix our relationship, he would come home instead of still going out knowing I don't trust him. So the fact that he doesn't make me think is just all talk. Does this sound like something I should be genuinely worried about? He does have anger issues, and I've been scared of him in the past, but he's never truly hurt me. Other than pushing me around when he's mad, he's also told me that no matter where I move, he will find me. He has a lot of resources, and he will kill me then. Truthfully, I won't be moving very far. I'll have to remain in the same town, likely. I remind him he would be ruining his own life and hurting his son by doing this. Part of me thinks he's full of bravado, like a teenager. I would take it extremely seriously. Please go to the police and tell them what he has said for your safety and your children's safety. I can't believe you are considering not taking that kind of threat seriously. Get yourself to safe place immediately. Start talking to a divorce attorney immediately. Move whatever money you can to somewhere he can't touch immediately. Make the police aware of his threats to you and be prepared to contact them. If he goes further. Without kids, this will be fairly open and shut. Assume he's serious. Plan accordingly. Leaving an abuser, especially an abuser who has gotten physical in the past, especially an abuser who is making threats, is dangerous. You need to make a mental list of who you can trust now. People that you know for a fact will be 100% in your corner and can be trusted not to reveal any information about you to him or any of his flying monkeys, no matter how manipulative he gets. 
get in touch with these people immediately and fill them in on the situation. Have them help you cover your tracks if need be. And you need to leave town when you go. Even if you have a job, even if you are short on cash. Get as far away as possible as quickly as possible, and when you get there, contact the local police department and explain your situation. If you have trustworthy relatives in another region, even better. Give them a photo of him and a detailed account of the threats he's made. This way, if he shows up, they'll already be aware of the situation, and they'll have your account of the situation first. If at all possible, take your son with you. If you can't leave the area without violating a custody agreement, and your son's father isn't also a piece of shit, talk to him and see if your son can stay with him until you're safely out of this relationship. And not to get too dark, but if you don't have arrangements for where your son will go if anything happens to you, make them. Have them written up by an attorney so that there's no confusion or ambiguity. Have a list of people, from first choice to last, that you trust to take your son if the worst should happen. I'm so sorry this is happening, op. Please keep yourself safe, and when you do make a run for it, leave no loose ends, and do not meet up with your husband for closure, or so he can apologize, or so you can work out some logistical detail. The only person he should hear from going forward is your attorney and or the police. Women have died because they decided to meet up with their abuser one last time for innocuous sounding reasons. Whatever you do, resist the temptation to do this. It may save your life. Yes be very very afraid. The most dangerous part of an abusive relationship is when you leave. That is exactly when people are killed. Please call the domestic violence hotline. While you have gotten good advice, they are the experts and will help you leave safely. 1-800-799-7233 You need to get out. Regardless of whether or not he's actually cheating, he's definitely not somewhat abusive. You may also want to see about getting some sort of a protective order when you do leave, because yes, I'd say he's definitely capable and quite possibly willing to follow through on those threats. First and most importantly, you mentioned that you have kids from a previous marriage. Do the children reside with you in the home question mark take this 100% seriously. He already has a history of physically assaulting you, and there's a high risk that those behaviors will escalate. The fact that he still goes out drinking a lot can exacerbate the situation. Are you in the US? If so, please reach out to the Center for Domestic Violence Prevention. They offer a 24-hour support line, community support groups for abused women, short-term crisis intervention counseling, clinical counseling, and can offer transitional housing for up to one year. If you do reach out to the Center for Domestic Violence, speak with one of the social workers or counselors to develop a safety plan if things escalate between you and your husband. They can also help you develop an escape plan. You can also check with them to take legal action through the courts by getting a domestic violence order or emergency protective order, seeing that he has physically abused you already. If you decide to leave, please do not let him know you are leaving. Do it secretly and make sure you have a safe place to go where he will not know your location. Source. I am a social worker. Please PM me if you have any questions or need assistance, and I will try my best to help. Well, the number one cause of homicide for women in the USA is being murdered by an intimate partner. It accounts for over half of the murders of women. And, about three women are murdered by an intimate partner each day in the USA. Considering that your partner already told you that he would do this, I'd say your odds are probably more likely than average, right? Question mark. That doesn't mean you shouldn't leave him, since he could still kill you even if you do stay, since he's already escalated to threatening it. But you can't be so blase about it. If not for your sake, then for your son's. What would happen if he breaks into your new home to kill you and your son is there? Will he spare your son? If he doesn't kill your son along with you, what would the rest of your son's life be like after witnessing such a thing? Question mark, I suggest you contact a free domestic violence hotline and tell them you need help making a safe escape plan from your husband.